could tell us exactly the impact speed, direction, velocity of the, the crash that you're gonna have, we could design the perfect helmet for that, right? But looking at not only the worst case scenario, but the most likely case scenario, and how is someone likely gonna crash, whether they're an eight-year-old learning to ski for, their, for the first time, or somebody ski mountaineering, going 45 down a couloir. So there's a lot of different input in terms of how we design helmets and who we design helmets for, um, and making sure that it's it's not just worst case scenario, but also likely, likely scenario. So in other words, Jiro goes above and beyond the standard that's required. And then in addition to that, MIPS is also holding themselves to another standard. So you guys have your internal standards, safety standards based on your own R&D, and then you're buying a Jiro helmet with a MIPS insert, and that has its own standard. So you guys have like far surpassed any sort of snow standard. Is there any um, other than um, the European standard that is holding the, the companies more liable, I guess you could say, is there any sport in the United States that's doing that now? So I think the, the sport to highlight is, is cycling um, and the Virginia Tech standard. So right now in the cycling space, everyone is aware of the Virginia Tech st standard. The market demands a five-star helmet across the board. And so that gives us, for people who aren't familiar with the Virginia Tech standard, it's a third-party rating system where they're ranking all our helmets, all the Solomon helmets, as what they deem to be safest across the board. And so on the cycling side, that's our bar, right? And the new Giro road cycling helmet that just launched, number one ranked helmet on the, the cycling side for Virginia Tech. On the snow side, they have a slightly different standard. And there's a bit of debate on this and how much we agree with the standard from a MIPS standpoint, because when they test for rotational impact, the anvil they use, the anvil they use on the road side or on the cycling side has sandpaper on it. So that's replicating uh, an impact where you hit your head on the road. On the, the snow side, it's a steel anvil. So it's kind of replicating snow or ice which in some cases is probably your, your most likely scenario. But if you look at hitting your head on a rock or hitting your head on a tree, that's a completely different impact. And so how they test may be not totally agreed on by everyone, um, but it's that challenging of different brands, different companies, we're all trying to do the same thing. We're all trying to design the safest helmets we can. And so pushing each other to improve the Virginia Tech standard and then have Jiro have the number one helmet, then Solomon comes in, they have the number one helmet, then we have the number one helmet. And it kind of rising tide lifts all boats.